Once again, some of you have asked me to create a three-dimensional model of this part. To do that, I'm going to activate my 3D model layer, and I'll start out by drawing a rectangle. I'm going to draw a rectangle at a relative 3, comma, 4, I'm going to use the fillet tool. And I'm going to change my radius to 0.75. I'll fillet each of these corners. I'm going to copy each one of these circles. I'll copy them from that midpoint to that midpoint. And I should probably change the assignment of those two circles to be on the 3D model layer. At the keyboard, I'm going to type the word region. Actually, before I do that, I want to make certain that this is in fact a closed polygon. Now that I've verified that it is, I'll type the word region, and I'm going to make a region out of this object, this object, and this object. I'm going to use the subtract tool to subtract from the larger object each of the two smaller objects. Now I'm going to click on the Extrude tool and select this object. And I'm going to extrude it in this direction by one unit. Now I'm going to click on the Polyline tool. I'm going to draw a polyline from this point to this point to this point to this point and over to here. I'll click Move, and at the keyboard, I'm going to type the letter L for last. And I'm going to move that object over to here somewhere. I'll click Copy, and I'm going to copy each of these two objects. And I'll copy them from that point to that point. And just like before, I'm going to select each of those two objects and reassign them to the 3D model layer. I'll use my polyline edit tool to edit this polyline. And I'm going to join to that line this arc. Now I'll press the Enter key. Now you can see that I've created one object out of that. I'm going to type the word region, and I'm going to select this object and this object. Now I'll subtract from the larger object the smaller object. Let's use the Extrude tool to select this object. And I'm going to extrude it in this direction by one unit. Now I'm going to use that Align tool again. Let's click on Align. And I'm going to align this object so that this midpoint will align itself to that midpoint. This midpoint will align itself to that midpoint, and this midpoint will align itself to that midpoint. Now I'm going to use the Boolean Union tool, and I'm going to make a union out of this object and this object. The 
last thing I need to do is to create a fillet. So I'll click on the fillet tool. I'm going to click on that edge. And I'm going to type 1 as my fillet radius. I'm going to press the enter key. And as you can see, I've created that fillet. At the keyboard, I'm going to type 3DO for three dimensional orbit. And now I can use that orbiting tool to view our object from the other side. I'm going to select that fillet tool one more time. I'll click on this. I'll press the Enter key and press the Enter key again. Let's click on the View pull-down menu. Click Visual Styles and Conceptual. As you can see, we now have a 3D object. Use the three-dimensional orbit tool again, as you can see. We can obtain a view of this object from a number of different positions.